Okay, hi everybody, so welcome to the uh, first of our under eights video. So this week we're going to look at how we advance running from deep and, and how we challenge the player one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. So uh, again, no game on Sunday, really hard ground, still quite cold, so we want to get the guys moving nice and quick. So we're going to start with a um, five-minute warm-up um, on a 4-2-4 grid using coloured cones. And all we're going to do is we're just going to shout out colours. The boys have got to put balls onto the cones or, and then pick up cones and uh, pick up balls from certain colour cones. Then start getting them into teams and just getting them to make sure that all of the balls end up on their cones. So if they're in the red team, um, how many balls can they get back to the red cone? And then flip that round and just go, right, how many balls can you make sure you get away from the red cone to the winners, the, the team after two minutes or whatever, with the least amount of balls on their cones, okay? So we're going to move from that into a really simple passing drill again, okay? So we're, we're really focusing on the, the basics of the pass and coming from deep onto that pass. So under sevens, under eights, really keen and enthusiastic to get the ball, which means that they're always standing in a flat line about a half a yard away from the guy in front. So we want to pull them back and get them running onto the ball and build their confidence of, of running onto that ball so that when they take that ball forward, they'll go past the man quite comfortably. OK, so we're going to run a really simple grid in teams of four. So four guys down here and a set of balls on this bit here. So three, four, maybe five balls in there. And all they're going to do is they're going to run from this set of cones up to this set of cones, passing the ball across the line. But once they pass the ball, they come back to their original cone, pick up a new ball and go again. And what will happen is as this guy here comes back, picks up a ball and starts again, now this guy here is automatically a couple of yards behind him. So when that second line comes out, it'll be a little bit deeper and a little bit deeper again. And then by the time you get to the third and the fourth line, this guy here will be putting the ball into here as this guy here is running. So by the time he starts running, this guy will be coming at that ball flying from really deep. So once you've done that, once that way, you've obviously got all the balls up here. You have a quick review about running from deep and... Uh, focusing on the basics of the pass so same things as you do from the sevens push pass high shoulders open chest uh, across the the chest and point into where the ball is going to end up catching with big w's uh, and reinforcing 10 fingers not two hands okay so when you go back in again so we're going to go passing left one way passing right the other way and go back in okay and to make it a little bit more um competition and make it a bit more fun for them if you set up two sets of grids side by side and then who can get the balls all the way out and who can get the balls all the way back in, things like that. Makes it nice and simple for them. Okay. So we're going to run that for 15 minutes. Then we're going to run a quick break and then on to um, a one-on-one -on -one situation uh, with focusing on evasion, fast feet um, and how we get round the man. So again, what we don't want to do, we don't want to prescribe to the boys, this is how you get around the man. We want to encourage them to think themselves and build their confidence about how they get around the opposition player. So what we're going to do, we're going to set up a set of cones. So here's one set of cone, um, here's the second set of cone. You'll have a third set and a fourth set and a fifth set, depending on how many boys you've got, um, or boys and girls you've got in your group. And all they're going to do... so. This guy here has got the ball, so we're always going to attack from this side. We're always going to defend from this side up here. So this guy here is going to pick the ball up and just run at this guy. Simple as that. So when he's done that, puts the ball back down here. He moves up to the next one here. And the guys on this side here are moving down that way. Okay, so you're always competing against them. So you will bunny hop some players. So as this guy comes down, this guy goes back, so they'll miss each other. But you're always competing against different players. And when you get to the end one, you just turn it around and you become a defender instead of an attacker. Okay. So again, what we're looking for on that is fast feet, sideways movement, uh, and how we transfer sideways movement into forward movement, making sure the ball's in two hands at all times. Okay. So run that for 15 minutes. should keep the boys uh, nice and active. So they'll be doing passing, they'll be doing one-on-one -on -one, and they'll be ready for a game. 
so the game controls that we're going to use this week okay just to tie the two together and if you catch the ball or at any point during the game you have the ball and you are standing still that means it's a turnover other than when you're tagged uh, that means it's a turnover and the ball goes to the opposition a second control is we're going to try and get them to run in pairs so one of them will be catching the ball and running uh, and until he's caught the ball his teammate you know, somebody from his team needs to be hanging on to his other tag and um, when he's caught the ball he's obviously he's got a go right on his shoulder that he can pass the ball to soon as he's tagged and he's passed the ball they then have to they've got three seconds to find somebody else move what they're doing so that that guy who then got the ball has got somebody on his tag as well so you count to three and they've got to get somebody on their tag otherwise it's uh, a turnover again what this does is it encourages them to look at what's in front of them um, and and how they're going to support the man because at any point somebody can get tagged and you've got to be quite close to him in order to to keep hold of his tag okay that's quite a complicated one that once you've done it once or twice they'll get the hang of it okay so the third one again when you bring them back into the bigger games so start off with smaller games four on four three on three and then bring them back into a, a full six on six or seven on seven or whatever your squad size is um, and then all you want to do on that is when you're tagged the whole team has to go back to the last line uh, touch the last line and then run onto the ball so they can't just come flying onto the ball what you're trying to do on that is again get them to come from deep so you're still going to put in a bit about standing still you're not allowed to stand still but just going to send them back to the last line whether it be the try line whether it be an imaginary five yard line ten yard line however you want to set up your pitch but you want to push them back ten yards so that they're coming onto the ball from deep okay so last thing to do then is just to review again the quality of the passing on here, reinforce how you're going to pass the ball, reinforce up here how you're going to use fast feet and put the man off balance, going side to side and forward and reinforce how much they enjoy the game on there. Okay, so that's it for this week. Thank you for listening and I shall see you again next week. Thanks very much.